Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to give you an overview of a new platform for teaching coding and programming to middle school and high school students. This tool is called Blackbird. You'll find it at blackbirdcode.com. And it does a nice job of bridging the gap between a block editor like Scratch and going into a full-fledged IDE. So let's take a look at blackbird.com, blackbirdcode.com from the student perspective first. So this is what the student sees the first time they sign in. They'll have these lessons. Now here's their home screen. And we'll log the student right back in here. And they go right into the lessons. Now we'll see here these lessons are written sequentially. And you can see they have to complete each lesson in order to unlock the challenge activity at the end and in order to unlock the next stages of the activity. Now, we'll see over here on the left-hand side, the student has this self-directed lesson where they have a little description, will learn to create, position, and draw points on the canvas. If they hover over this, they will see a little bit more information about the point, or in this case, the canvas. And in this activity here, they're going to create a new point named P, and here's what to type. So they're gonna go ahead and just type that in. And we'll see there, I made a little mistake because I hadn't entered that last little piece. So now I'm going to check the code when I'm done. So let's go ahead and hit my check code button. And I've got it. Now, once I've finished that first little lesson, we'll see that lines one through five have been locked into place so that the student doesn't accidentally go back and make a change here. That part is locked. Now we have a new lesson and it'll show us again what we're learning here and what we need to type, in this case, p.x equals 100. And we can see, I'm gonna check my code, and I've done it. Now, with each one of these little lesson tasks, we do have a deep dive. And this deep dive, gives the student a little bit more information about what they are doing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the teacher perspective of this program. So from the teacher side here, here I am logged in as my teacher, and I can see there's my class, I have my demo one class, and let me sign right back in there. There's my demo one class, and in my demo one class, I can see all of my students. In this case here, I just have my one student. I can see he's currently online and he's working on lesson one, but he has not completely uh, earned all of his stars yet because he hasn't completed all the lessons for that particular unit. I can see he's spent four seconds so far. <laughs> now, when I go back home here, as the teacher, I can also do the exact same activities that my students are doing. So here's the teacher, I can go in and do the exact same activity, check my code, and see that I have done a fantastic job there. Now I can even go ahead and run the program, but right now in this early phase, we don't really have anything happening quite yet. So we can stop running, we can go back in and do our next lesson, and that's p.y equals 50. And I'll check my code. And hooray, I'm now doing the exact same thing that my students are doing. Uh, blackbirdcode.com offers more features in terms of tracking than what I have shown you here. You can also give out 
feathers or a little awards to your students for completing their activities. But at its core, blackbirdcode.com provides students with this nice self-paced lesson where they can get some immediate feedback on how they are doing as they're learning to write the code. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.